pace out the halls of your lineage oh, once familiar. Gigantic. Oren. Look at it. Look at the size. We don't have to try very hard to get a full inventory. The cold it's a long dungeon. And we have an antiquarian in the party. So I'm not going to be freaking out about like turning torches off before I open chests and stuff in this one. Especially not at the start of the dungeon. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Surprise! <laughs> yes. Yes, this is yes. Yes, this is good. Yes. Very good. Yes, I am pleased. Yes. Yes, thank you. Um more of that would be great. Oops. The bone dudes look angry. It's just because they don't have skin on their faces. If they had skin on their faces, you'd realize that they're just like smiling politely. Everybody looks sort of weird when they don't have any skin on their face. It's rough. They have to deal with all sorts of like discrimination related to that things. They make the best out of it though. Let's get started on a gold pile. What do we want to drop? <sighs> we don't want to drop anything. Maybe a deed? Deed pile for a bit. It's only 50 gold. We're going to be out of torches very soon in one of the piles, so we'll just let that empty pile turn into a gold pile, maybe. Why is the skeleton drinking wine? Just a rough day. Annihilated. <laughs> it got worse. <laughs> um, yeah, just had a rough day, you know? A little bit of self-medication. Operation Grave Robber just kills everything is uh, moving along swimmingly so far. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Why is the party so freaked out at the skeleton throwing wine at them? Uh, just deep-seated issues. Who loots the packs that have already been looted? Isn't that weird? That seems sort of weird.
handsome reward for a task well performed. All right, five rooms down. Oh my god, that's huge. Is this our first long dungeon? No, we had one that was just like ever so slightly longer than a medium dungeon. We have 130% trap disarm on our grave robber. Gonna trust her with that. I uh, I think she can handle it. This grave robber, I haven't really shown off the grave robber. We have a sunring and a raider's talisman. The raider's talisman is plus four speed, plus five percent crit, and uh, all the other stuff's really good too. 30% trap disarm chance, 20% scouting chance is incredible. 100% food consumed is not too relevant. And a sun ring, which is one of the best trinkets in the game. 15% damage, 10 accuracy. As long as we keep the torch light up. Uh, that's not all though. She also has 10% damage on melee skills and 15% damage on the ruins. So like, she's just uh, a very, very silly person right now. Does that mean I have a 30% chance to disarm another random one? It means that 30% of the time, the floor has an anti-trap in it now. Whatever that is. Hey, Verlux, how you doing today? Ooh. Not sure how I feel about that. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. It's a bit of a tougher fight, um, mostly because our Grave Robber didn't one-shot the guy she attacked. Killed all the other ones, though. I sort of want to attack a corpse right now. Because we can't hit position 4. Well, I guess we will be. I remind you of a female Hermione Granger. Like, book version or movie version? Also, I assumed male, yeah. Mm. Hermione was definitely the female in Harry Potter that I was attracted to. Got ourselves a secret room. We are going to have a lot of shit in our bags when we leave this dungeon. I think we'll camp here. We're probably not bringing home a bunch of heirlooms, honestly. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Okay, we clicked random buttons and didn't quite get there.
match is struck. A blazing star Luna Lovegood? No. <laughs> Although her name is Luna Lovegood, I guess. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I never noticed that. <laughs> You can just hear the, like, saliva frothing out of his mouth as he says that. <laughs> I wonder... Like, what percentage of my party's damage is being dealt by the Grave Robber? I wonder how often it saves. I wonder if it saves, like, often enough that you actually could track how much damage each person was doing just by checking save states every time. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Nerf Grave Robber? Nerf this Grave Robber? In general, grave robbers aren't that great. They're very, very, very uh, vulnerable to being dead. They do spend a bit of time to being dead, unfortunately. I'm gonna drop my deeds. Like, there's a secret room too. We're just not, not that likely to be coming home with a bunch of heirlooms. Heirlooms? Heirlooms? I think if Beagle Rush played this game, he'd be big on collecting heirlooms. My lighting was very off today. Oh! These lights are not on. <laughs> Light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Decimated. Decimated. Like everybody else is on an adventure in a terrifying horrifying dungeon and my grave robber is actually playing unreal tournament what was that called Un unreal tournament is what it's called right yeah Does Ron do anything memorable in Harry Potter? How memorable. Would I be able to remember it? Because I can't. Nice Yes, you also Remind are yourself dead. That overconfidence Bring me the next one. An insidious killer. Now that's a fight. Another one falls. Success so clearly in view. Guess we're not or gonna have a jade pile. A trick of the light. Um. Let's drop 
being used, unfortunately. I'm gonna go all the way down here, and back again, like camp in this room, and then take the very end of the dungeon. Let's clear this fight first. Oh no, my grave robber's in the wrong place. Sort of a big deal. Not actually a big deal. You bought E4 today. You're ready to be in over your head. Yeah, I think that's what that game is, basically. What is... I should watch people play it competitively. Because I've never tried playing any of the Paradox games without pausing all the time. Which is just like, you just pause all the time. That's what you do. Then you have to like, you know, spend half an hour working out who you're marrying your son to and stuff. I feel like it would be a very different game if you played without pausing. actually played Stellaris. I've never like finished a Stellaris game though. Hey, yeah, there's Caitlyn. Brought low and driven into the mud. Is there a dinner? Pizza? 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 Yeah. Probably two. Are you having some? Yeah, I think two. Because they're like the pizza margarita. They're super thin. And I'll eat more later tonight, probably. Do you want me to make the pizzas? I can make the pizzas. I'll have like two thirds of a pizza now. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right, kill and I have pizza. Steve is a better wizard than Ron. Thank you. I remember like sometimes liking Ron, but then he'd get really moody. bit too moody for me. A devastating Ooh. Oh no, that's not good for you, Arbalest. That's not good for you at all. Don't shoot her. It's only gonna make her angry. Masterfully <laughs> executed. Uh. <laughs> Oops. The grave robber is strong. Hmm. Yeah, do you think the enemies are trying to catch on? Probably not yet. Maybe in another little while. This expedition at least promises success. How are we for shovels? We have three. Why? Why do we... Who's been hoarding the shovels? Seems like too many shovels.
Uh, you were dismissed, Leonette. You got to... Where are you? I think I dismissed you, yeah. You got to big for your shoes or something. I don't know. I'm just making up, like, phrases. Too big for your shoes. You, uh... You hit level 3, I'm pretty sure. And I didn't want a level 3 occultist with, like, a bad negative trait. And lots of stress. I think you had lots of stress. Something like that. Yes! I dismissed you, Leonat. Uh, <laughs> what a game. What a game. Uh-oh. Hmm. Is there like a bug in how it calculates dodge? Or... I must not understand what dodge is, because you get everybody dodging attacks so often. Missing a character is halfway to full level is counterproductive when leveling the entire roster to full is one of your core objectives. Um, you can get free level. Two? Three? Ow. You can get free higher level heroes later on. You'll see how it scales. It scales all right. This is a big stress heal. Does it heal health? I think it might. What's it called? But there's also a 50% chance of golden gems. Yeah, that seemed fine. You get to go have sick Greek food tomorrow. You're so excited. Souvlaki. I spent like two weeks in Greece, and the only thing I remember about Greek food was souvlaki. It was delicious. I'm pretty sure. Pre yeah, pretty sure it was delicious. We're running out of torches. We're going to have to work out how to meter these to get through the rest of the dungeon. I think we take this fight in lowish light, which means the sun ring is not working. The twisted faces of the damned. I I've changed my mind. And cloaked in malice. I have changed my mind. Crit! Ooh. bad at killing this guy. We already had our, like, one attack that dealt a lot of damage to him. Alright. Antiquarian's got him dead, though. Pretty soon. I'm sure. Almost done. Yeah, we're really bad at killing him. Uh, this is going to suck, I think. Oh, we could transform the Abomination here. I think we do. It's exciting. He completely... Have I destroyed the world yet? Or whatever it is I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I 
like in the video game or or in real life? <laughs> Is that not even roll to stun? Hmm. We're gonna have some issues perhaps with stress as this fight goes on. Perhaps. Fuck. He's just gonna make another three. Nice crit. Double highwayman this time. Uh oh. This fight is not going well right now. I might have to run. It's just that we're so bad at hitting position four. We're pretty bad at dealing damage in general, but we're especially bad at hitting position four. Maybe the Abomination can carry us through. So that was, actually, it would have been actively bad to hit with the Antiquarian there. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Got an attack on him. Seven damage. Nice start. Costico! That follow, welcome to the stream. Is this more damage, accuracy, and crit? Does he deal damage? I'm not sure he deals damage. This team is so bad. Killing Collector. Yeah, it really, really is. You are not incorrect. We're gonna get there, though. Someday the Grave Robber is gonna crit, and he's just gonna be dead. Hopefully before the Abomination uh, freaks out. Okay, I might legitimately have to run. We don't have to fight this. We get to camp though. We're not taking damage super quickly either. Does he not take stress damage from... Does he like only stress himself now? That's weird. Also helpful. Good, I don't think that's enough to save him from dying. Nice dodge. Um, 
how could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. to the stream. The blood quickens. Oh, there's more of them. Get man at arms this time. It's weird. I feel like the, the main timer is actually being created by our own abomination. Pretty bad. All right, hit please. We've had a lot of chances to hit for uh, reasonable damage. Paranoid. Human again. Go ahead and use a bandage. Seems all right. like any crit at all ever would be incredible. Another highwayman. Unless the Vestal starts healing him. Life steal, huh? Huh. <laughs> okay. I can still run. I'm still pretty sure that we can just kill him now. I think killing this is right. Any amount of damage that was more than your minimum possible amount of damage would be acceptable at this point. I'm not sure that I am winning eventually. We'll see.
wrong guy to guard, probably. <laughs> hey, we crit in the fight once. So warning, um, okay, thank you very much. You would die. You... I never doubted for a second, personally. The rats prepare to feast. Um, these two can't actually attack us. Let's get the abomination healed back up. Try turning. Try turning him off and on again. A solid piece of advice. Thank you for that. <sighs> These guys can't attack now. The guys we're fighting right now is just a free full heal. We could actually... Um, In theory, we could full heal all of our stress as well by just trying to crit with the cultist and uh, antiquarian heals. Eventually, we would be full full on this fight. This is a situation where, like, I would sort of be okay with using a memory editing program to just put my guys at full fall. I'm not going to go to full fall. I'm going to go to, like, zero stress in the abomination, but it's just sort of dumb. You get stress from stalling. Uh, yeah, that's the limitation of the mechanic. If you're uh, fighting two enemies at once, you won't take stress from stalling. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Get stress if fight takes infinite turns, no matter how many enemies. Yeah, 
they don't want to make it so I couldn't have the fight I just had. Like the fight I just had, which took lots and lots of turns. I'm pretty sure that there is a desire for me to be able to have that fight. The only problem is like, how do you make a mechanic that lets me have that fight and can recognize that I'm just in a tough fight and not stalling? while also having a mechanic that stops me from stalling at the end. A trifling victory. But a victory. A trifling less. victory. Shut up, narrator. I don't like you. Sort of like him. Yeah, that's not true. I like him a lot. We're slowly filling up the inventory. We're like a little over halfway through. Bandages? Sure. There are lots of ways that you could fix this. I don't know why it hasn't been fixed. Probably because some people don't like the things that are suggested. There may be some balance issues with, like, really encouraging you to alpha strike if you punish fights for going on long as well. There was the attack that I was looking for for the last, like, 17 minutes. Yeah, like, capping how much stress and HP you can heal, or how many uses you can get out of the healing things, or making some damage permanent, some percentage of the damage you take permanent. Are all things you could do. There are lots of other solutions as well. Those aren't even the only ones. Remember when the abomination was afflicted? No. I only look forward. Never backward. Hey, bloody dice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. We got one of those already, so it's just uh, 750 gold. Don't really have room to carry 750 gold. These are scared more. What are you doing today? What's the point of having a healer when you can just prevent the damage by bringing another stunner or damage dealer? Um, you can't always prevent the damage. I'm gonna risk some stress on the abomination to. Nice. Try to roll off one of the bad perks. We're gonna come back here with the lights off, but I just turned them on again. A curious decision. You can resolve this test. No. There can be no hope in this hell. Awkward. No hope at all. That's gonna start putting stress on everybody else in the party. Egan, why have you done this to me? We've got four torches left. We don't have to fight stuff we're fighting right now. It's a 16.5% crit. That's speed 8, though. I think just go for the higher chance to kill it before it moves. There's a good solution on Pitch Bletch Dungeon. Create a passive debuff. Reduce heal, stress heal until the end of combat. Sounds like it would work. I really feel like there are so many solutions to this. These nightmarish 
creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Not bringing home an onyx pile. I don't know. I might be pushing harder than is reasonable at this point. Books. Not books again. Like, we might starve. We Okay, we're going to leave that room alone. We're going to get these three rooms out here. Actually, the secret room counts as a room we get. 5, 10, 15, 20. I th think we still have to get to... Oh, we could go to this room. Why didn't we do that already? Lights out? Just keep stress lower laden slightly. Are often low on supplies. D&D campaign tonight, these few rounds of combat have been real slow. Oh, you're watching Twitch during D&D? Sometimes D&D is pretty slow. I don't really know what you're meant to do while you're like... Especially if you're like listening to somebody else do something with their character and it doesn't relate at all with your character. I mean, at that point you're just watching D&D, right? Why am I here? What have I done? The light, the promise of safety. <sighs> okay. I feel like the afflictions have been very tame in this dungeon. I've had two of them and neither of them have really done anything. Just taking a little bit of extra stress from the occultist yelling at people. Thank you for that, Egan. Otherwise it's been good. So I'm gonna risk a hunger check. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against I'm also the going to horrors. risk the fourth running nighttime ambush. Uh, Forage here. Anger management is fine. Moves doesn't matter. Thanks. Yeah, yell at why? Indeed stalk these shadows. Like a thirty three percent chance. Why? Ah, you're over here. I see. Good. The perfect place for you to be. OK, 
Caitlin just brought pizza here. Okay, we're going to need uh, to heal. A momentary abatement. Of torches, yeah, yeah. All right. may become a little bit more muffled. Yeah, Joshua. How you doing? All right. I didn't turn the lights out. That's awkward. This is a pizza margarita, and it is delicious. I'm sorry, Sir Skidmore. This is just a pizza margarita. It's just a frozen pizza that Caitlin put in the oven. Seems like quite a lot of treasure. <laughs> 